Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and today we are going through 10 luxury lip balms. We are going to arrange them by price per gram, and I'll give you some details about each of those. And then we're going to go into what my opinion is on which ones are the most reparative. So we're going to kind of rank them up according to how well they perform. I have been testing these 10 lip balms for, you know, some of them I've had for a year. Some of them are ones that I've used for several years. Some of them are relatively new, but I have used all of these extensively to really see how well they perform. So we're gonna go through that. And then of course I will share with you which my favorites are. Even if they aren't necessarily number one on the list, they still might be a personal favorite. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are gonna start off with the most expensive lip balm on this list. So today we are looking at clear translucent lip balms that are supposed to be reparative and healing for your lips. And let me know if you're interested in something like this for tinted lip balms. We're actually starting off with the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm. And these actually do come in a tinted lip balm as well, but they do have a translucent version in 912 Dreamy White. So this is the lip balm. I mean, I don't know if swatches are really gonna help, but we'll go ahead and put that on. You can see it's gonna be a thin satin balm. It's a little bit of a combination of like a waxy, oily type of texture here. And as you're looking at the swatch on my lips here, this one here is supposed to be a moisture rich balm that soothes the appearance of your lips. And if you use it day after day, it should actually improve the condition of your lips. This can be used as a primer for lipsticks, but it's also meant to just be used to help, you know, improve the appearance of your lips. So they have a hydrating oil that's made from fruit and olive leaves, and it's supposed to have restorative and antioxidant properties. Now, one of the qualities of this balm, when you apply it first, it should be sheer and shiny on the lips, but as those particular ingredients are being absorbed and improving your lips, it's going to turn into a subtly luminous appearance on your lips, more like a soft satin balm on your lips after things are absorbed. So this particular product is the most expensive on, on the list. It retails for 45 US dollars. It's made in France. There's three grams of product. So that breaks it down to $15 per gram of product. So that is our most expensive lip balm here per gram. Next, in a similar category as the Chanel, we have the Dior Balm. And again, this is gonna come in uh, a translucent or tinted variety. You can see it's right here next to the Chanel. If you look very closely, you can see that the Dior just has a little bit of a whiter appearance on my hand. This is a satin balm, but it also comes in a velvet texture. I don't have that one in the translucent finish, so I did not include that here, but that is something to note. Now, these balms here are refillable, so you can just remove this. You can purchase a refill for the Dior lip balms. So the Dior lip balm is made in France, and just like the Chanel, this can be used as a lip primer, so you can wear this underneath your lipsticks, and it is supposed to help improve the hydration of the velvet lipsticks and the matte lipsticks from Dior as well. Now, this particular lip balm has a floral complex in it, and it uses a variety of different flowers. We've got peonies, there's pomegranate flowers, which are actually supposed to help uh, provide a plumping effect to the lips. You have fig blossoms, red hibiscus, which is supposed to help provide a soothing quality to your lips. And just like the Chanel, if you use this day after day, your lips should be in a more beautiful condition, and that is according to Dior. So they also claim to have a 24-hour hydration from this lip balm, and as I mentioned, it is refillable. Now, personally, I have not noticed a 24-hour level of hydration. I find this mildly hydrating, it's a very similar in texture to the Chanel lip balm. However, this one is a little bit thinner, a little bit waxier. The Chanel has a little bit more of an oil content compared to the Dior. Just like the Chanel, the Dior lip balm is made in France. And this one also retails for 45 US dollars. However, we have 3.5 grams of product. So that will make it a little bit less expensive than the Chanel at $12.86 per gram. 
Next, we have the Sisley Lip Balm, and this is the Nutritive Lip Balm from Sisley. I've been using this for years, but they did reformulate this last year. So compared to the previous version, I did like the previous one slightly more. The consistency of this is just a little bit thinner in texture when you put it on the lips. So this one has a little bit of a soft vinyl effect on the lips, so it stays a little bit longer on the lips in both the Chanel and the Dior, and it has a really pleasing texture to it. I personally find this to be one of the most comfortable lip balms, and it's one that I really like to put on at the beginning of the day, so I'll wear this like under lipsticks and so forth, but when I wake up and I do my morning skincare, this is one of my favorites to apply at that time. Now, according to Sisley, this lip balm is supposed to soothe, smooth, and prep lips for makeup. It's not sticky, it's restorative. There's a blend of different oils like plum kernels, shea butter, wheat germ oil, cocum butter, jojoba oil, and so forth. So all of these different oils and ingredients here are supposed, supposed to be very reparative to the lips. Now, I find this definitely to be non-sticky, and I have to admit, it is one of my favorite lip balms. This retails for 95 US dollars, it's made in France, and you get nine grams of product. So this breaks it down to $10.55 per gram. Now, please note, Sisley items are less expensive if you purchase them through Selfridges. So just something to note, we're looking at the retail price for a US retailer. And you can also sometimes get some of the Sisley products on Costco, which are less expensive as well. Now, as I mentioned, compared to the previous version, the previous version just had a little bit, it, it seemed to last a little bit longer on the lips. It was slightly more cushiony than this one, but they're very similar. I do feel, however, that the previous one was a little bit more hydrating than this one. This one is hydrating for me, but it's more of a daytime lip balm than an overnight lip balm. Next, we have the Augustinus Bader or Augustinus Bader lip balm here. And you can see you've got this really pretty, you know, kind of this brushed bronze tube with the blue inside. So sticking with their traditional shades here. And this is going to be a, uh, you know, a bullet lip balm. And this is gonna give you kind of that soft, subtle satin appearance on the lips. And according to Augustinus Bader, this lip balm hydrates, nourishes, and offers plumping qualities. We have plant-based butters and waxes, and of course they have their patented TFC8 complex, which supports cellular renewal. And according to them, it guides key ingredients into the cells for a better result. Now, personally, this lip balm, it has a very soft texture. It feels kind of like a soft wax with a little bit of butter and oil in there but it does feel like when you're putting this on, you're using a lot of product. This one kind of, you use this one up a lot faster. You know, it, it just, it seems like it's very soft, more like an airy formula in the bullet. So you're using more at one time to get the same level of hydration. This retails for 41 US dollars with four grams of product, bringing it out to $10.25 per gram. And this one here is going to be made in France. Next on the list, we have the U Beauty Plasma Lip Compound. This one was actually gifted to me by U Beauty during the summer last year, and I have used this extensively. I used it for a few months straight to really kind of see how it performs because this particular lip balm is intended to help with the lines and so forth that you get around your lips as well. So you can see that you have a metal applicator here, so it's cooling. And you can see this is the actual texture of the lip balm. Look at that. So you have a little bit more of that like adherence with this, a little more grip with this lip balm. There's a little bit of that vinyl texture which helps it stay on your lips longer. This one you can definitely use during the day or it's a really great overnight lip balm as well. Now, according to You Beauty, if you use this for four weeks, you will see a decrease in fine lines and wrinkles and an increase in the density and plushness of your lips. This lip balm revives chapped and damaged lips and you have a 3D cushion effect with this lip balm. It's also supposed to contour and enhance lips. And I have to say, I do really like this one. I think this is one of the 
One of the best lip balms on this list, I think is really nice. It retails for 68 US dollars. You get 15 milliliters of product and it's made in Italy. So that breaks it down to $4.53 per gram. And it's a really nice one. Now, did I notice a difference in the fine lines around my lips? Honestly, I didn't really notice a difference in the skin surrounding my lips. My, I don't have a ton of fine lines there, so it's really honestly kind of hard to tell, but I was focusing on the condition of my lips and whether or not I felt the need to continually reapply lip balms because some lip, lip balms, you know, are actually meant to kind of make you addicted to it. You know, like it'll condition it while it's on, but it's actually drying your lips. So you use more and more and more. And I did find that this did improve the condition of my lips and I felt that they needed a little bit less exfoliation. They were very smooth. So I would definitely say that this is a worthwhile lip balm to look into. Next on the list, we have the Revision Youthful Lip Plenisher. Notice it's youthful with two L's. And this is a really great lip balm, particularly if you are outside in cold weather or you know, you're looking for something heavy duty. And just so you can kind of see that texture there, this is gonna be thick, kind of like a vinyl texture on there. This is going to be the one that kind of sticks around on your lips the longest. If I put this on at night, then I wake up, it's definitely still there. I can shower and it is still there even after putting like cleanser on my face. So this one really sticks around. Now, according to Revision, this is going to increase your lip volume. It's also gonna contour your lips. It's targeting the signs of aging. A lot of the claims here are very similar to that of the U Beauty. We have antioxidants and hyaluronic acid in here. And we also have a ceramic applicator to help soothe your lips as you're putting this on. Now, one thing to note, the first few times that I use this, I could feel a lot of a tingling sensation. There is a slight minty scent to this particular lip balm, but it's not overpowering and it did not feel like the minty sensation was what was causing the tingling. It really felt like it was some sort of ingredient in there that was, you know, doing something a little bit more, but this will give you a little plumping and it's definitely a high shine finish that really sticks around. So this is made in the United States and it retails for 38 US dollars and we have 9.4 grams of product. So that brings it down to $4.04 per gram. Next up, we have Alpine Beauty, and this is the Willow and Sweet Agave Plumping Lip Mask. And I have to say, um, this has a really nice, you know, kind of like a fruity scent to it. I'm not sure exactly what fruit it is, but it does smell, like, I think it's a very pleasant smelling lip balm. And this is one that I like to use in the morning or at night as well. I think this one's very versatile. Now, this one here has hyaluronic acid. It also has the sweet agave extract, which helps bind moisture to increase hydration. We also have white willow bark, which is nature's salicylic acid, according to Alpine Beauty. And that's going to help improve or decrease the roughness of your lips. So it's gonna provide some natural exfoliation. And we have wild choke cherry and vitamin E, uh, which basically you're looking at antioxidants to provide protection to your lips. It's also going to soften your lips as well. The texture of this lip balm is like a firmer lip butter. So, you know, a lip butter is often very creamy, very moisturizing feeling, but you've got a lot of this emollient texture. It definitely has that, but you need a thinner layer to get that texture. So it's creamy, but not really a whipped butter, more like a slightly firmer butter. And this is made in the United States. It's actually made in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and they source some of their ingredients from there as well. It retails for 28 US dollars, and you get 10 grams of product, which brings it out to $2.80 per gram. Next, we're looking at one of the Aesop lip balms. So they also have a tube lip balm. I don't have that one, but this is the Cedar and Citrus Lip Salve. So this is going to be, it's a little bit of a runnier texture. You can see, you know, squeezing that out. This is gonna be thin, feels a little bit more oily on the lips. It is a nice texture. It has a nice citrus scent to it. It's not a very strong fragrance in this. You might have smelled this fragrance in some of their other products, but I would say in the lip salve, it's actually, 
it, it's just not quite as present, it's not as fragrant as you might have smelled it in, for example, like a hand cream or something. So the Aesop Lip Salve is nourishing, moisturizing. It uses vegetable derived emollients and it's an oil gel formula with moderate shine. So this is actually a vegan lip product. We have nine grams of product. It's made in Australia and it retails for 20 US dollars, which brings it out to $2.22 per gram. So this is gonna be a nice lightweight lip oil. I personally like this for daytime use. It's not gonna last super long on the lips, but it's one that is also really nice to keep on hand to top up a lipstick that is fading and so forth. So it, it's kind of like a nice clear gloss in a way. Next, we have London Town. So this is the London Town Nail Company. So I have some of their nail polishes and last year they came out with some lip products. So this is the Smoothing Lip Balm. You can see it's just your traditional squeeze tube here. And here is the texture. You can see this is it's a little bit thicker than like a Vaseline texture, definitely thicker than the Aesop there, which is on the runnier side, which also can make it a little bit goopier to apply. But the London Town one, we do have a soft vanilla fragrance in here. And this is a lip conditioner. And according to London Town USA, it is ultra hydrating, reparative. This is cruelty free. They have shea butter, hyaluronic acid, and a variety of antioxidants, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and so forth. This is made in the United States. We have 10 grams of product and it retails for 14 US dollars. So that brings it down to a dollar and 40 cents per gram. I have to say, this is one that I really like to use in the mornings when I do my morning skincare as well. This is just a nice lip balm. It's gonna last for a few hours on your lips. And I just think it has that nice, in between texture of you know something very waxy and something oily you know it's a little bit thicker than your typical tube lip balms so i just i think it's a nice medium weight texture and last up we have the la neige lip sleeping mask now these come in a variety of different fragrances and they are technically translucent when you put them on the lips but they are a colored balm here and you can see when you smear it out, you're going to not really see too much of that color. This one here, I believe is, yeah, it's mango. And it smells great, you know? So I like the fragrance of this, but it does come in other fragrances. So the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask has shea butter, murumuru butter, I'm not sure if I said that correctly, uh, vitamin C, coconut oil, and it's supposed to provide eight hours of hydration. I would say that's pretty accurate. It's also nourishing and it's meant to be left on overnight. So actually, if you go to their website, they don't mention anything about using it during the day. I have used it during the day, but it specifically set, says on there that it is meant to be used in the PM. So just something to note there. But I find this to be a really nourishing lip butter. It definitely feels like a lip butter on the lips very moisturizing, hydrating, comfortable, and the fruity fragrance, you know, can be really nice if that's something that you're looking for. This is made in Korea. It retails for 24 US dollars, and we have 20 grams of product, which brings it out to a dollar and 20 cents per gram. So although with these swatches, you can't tell too much about them, you can see that things like the Chanel and Dior, which are here, are going to be much more subtle on the lips, you're not really seeing as much product stick around and they are going to not be as shiny. And you can see some of the others, for example, the revision here is gonna be your highest shine level and so forth. Now let's talk about which ones are the most reparative on the lips. And I have used all of these during the night and during the day to kind of test and see where they fall in the spectrum. The two least reparative are going to be the Chanel and Dior. So I actually put Chanel on the bottom of the list for the reparative properties, but they're very, very close. They're almost a tie. I do find though, if I use the Dior day after day, uh, you know, my lips just seem to be in slightly better condition. Whereas with the Chanel, I really don't notice any improvement there. So Chanel would be number 10, whereas Dior is number nine. Following that is actually going to be the Aesop lip balm. So the Aesop, again, it's a really nice, comfortable lip salve to use during the daytime, but I don't notice any like reparative properties on my lips. If I use it overnight, it doesn't last all through the night. And you know, it's just, it's something nice to have on your lips for a few hours during the day, but I don't see much from a reparative standpoint. Following that, we have the Augustinus Bader lip balm. And again, this is, 
nice for a couple hours during the day. It wears off, you know, during the night. I don't notice anything. I haven't noticed any particular difference from using this lip balm. And I do feel like, you know, it kind of gets used up pretty quickly. You use a lot of product at one time. So I feel like that one's just not a great value for the money personally. Then next up, we have the London Town. This is a really nice lip balm. And you know, this is only $1.40 per gram and you can often get things on sale at London Town USA. Uh, I believe they also sell it at, I wanna say it's Saks, it's either Saks or Neiman's. But you know, I think these, although I have to say, maybe not, maybe, maybe it's only the nail products they have there. But regardless, you know, I think this is a great price lip balm. It's a really nice basic. It's kind of like your average lip balm, but it actually, you know, does seem to keep my lips in good condition. Overnight, I can feel that my lips feel moisturized when I wake up in the morning, but I don't feel any product remaining on my lips. However, they do feel like they are in good shape. They're very soft, they're not flaky. If I use this during the day, I think this is just a really great base to put on, you know, in the morning. And usually by the time I get around to doing my makeup and so forth, you know, it, there's still a little layer there that I can either wipe off or there's not so much I can just go over it. Next, we have the Sisley. So I do think that the older version was a little bit more reparative than the current version of the Sisley, but this is just such a great one to wear during the day. And if I use this at night, I have a, a light layer left on my lips when I wake up and my lips feel good. They feel like they're in good shape. I just don't notice any drastic improvements from this. It's just a slight step up in the quality of my lips from the London town. So, you know, the actual reparative qualities between the two of them are similar. However, this does, that vinyl texture really helps lock it onto my lips a little bit longer. So it stays put a little bit better. Next, we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And this works really well at night to leave my lips soft and cushiony. The fruity fragrance, you know, some people love that, some people won't. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But it's a really comfortable lip butter. It does improve the condition of my lips. I have a little bit left on there. Um, but I would say reparative qualities, again, are gonna be pretty similar to the Sisley, but this just feels slightly more moisturizing, whereas the Sisley feels like it's locking in my moisture that I already have a little bit more. So just a slight difference there, but pretty close. Next up, we have the Alpine Beauty Lip Balm, and this one, daytime, nighttime, I think it's a great lip balm. It stays put on my lips for many hours. If I use this overnight, I still have a layer on my lips in the morning, and I just find it really comfortable, and it definitely does improve the quality of my lips. So after I do a whole bunch of lip swatches, if I use this for a couple of nights, you know, my lips are really replenished and they feel great. So I think this is a really great option. Next, in second place, we have the You Beauty Plasma Lip Compound. This is a really nice one. It definitely improves your lip quality. Again, I can't really judge whether it improves the skin around the lips too well because mine aren't in that bad of a condition, but it definitely improves the actual lip texture and it sticks around really well. So you can use this during the day, but because of the texture, it's a little bit thicker on the lips. I do prefer to use this one overnight and it will stick around in the morning and I'll have a nice layer of it still left on my lips when I wake up. But the number one is gonna be the Revision Youthful Lip Replenisher. This thing really stays on so well. It's great for, you know, I personally like it if I'm going outside, like let's say you're going skiing or something, this is what you wanna wear, it's not gonna come off. This will last, as I mentioned, all night, even in, in the shower. You really have to kind of like wipe it away to uh, remove this. And it's a high shine finish. You can definitely use it during the day, but I do prefer to use this overnight. And this one is the most hydrating out of all of the lip balms that I have used. So this one is definitely going to give you the most benefits and you know, it just, it's the most powerful of the reparative lip balms here. So my personal favorites, they don't necessarily follow this reparative list, but they're pretty close. My number one favorite for overnight reparative qualities and just one that I always wanna have on hand is gonna be the revision. That is gonna be my favorite, but it's my favorite for overnight. My favorite overall for like any time 
it used to be the Sisley, but Alpine Beauty has beaten it. So this would be my number one overall lip balm. You know, I think it is a great value. I like the fruity fragrance on this and it really works well on me. So I think this is, you know, just the best overall, but Sisley is still gonna be up there. And that's gonna be my number three. And that's going to, you know, I just think this is great for daytime. I also really like using this one during the summer because it's lightweight, but still stays there. And some lip balms, particularly those with a higher oil content, when it's hot, they kind of get a little melty on the lips. The Sisley doesn't really do that. So I really like it for that reason. So Sisley is my number three. And my number four is going to be the U Beauty because this is a really great lip balm as well. You know, it's kind of just a one step down from the revision in reparative qualities and it's slightly lighter weight and texture, but you know, I think it's a really great option. So those are my top four lip balms. And I have to say, I'm really impressed. So definitely let me know if you're interested in seeing a tinted lip balm version of this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these and what your thoughts are on them. And please share down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you very soon. So thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.